Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you like contemporary and high-end bags and small leather goods, like makeup, like food, you're gonna wanna subscribe to this channel and I would love to have you come back. So take a quick second and hit that red button down below and ding the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Today's video is going to be a review on the Chanel flat card holder that you see right here. If you have ever been contemplating purchasing this piece either directly from Chanel or from the resale market and just haven't pulled the trigger yet just because you aren't quite sure or you don't feel like you have enough information to make that decision, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna give you all the information you're gonna need to know about this little piece and hopefully by the end you'll be able to come to the decision as to whether or not this item is for you. So get comfortable and let's get started. All right, here is the Chanel flat card holder. It measures 4.4 inches across, three inches in height, and 0.2 inches in depth. It currently retails for 425 US dollars, and that is the lowest price point for this card case. There are some that are retailing for 450, even up to 500. That just depends on the type of leather, the hardware, if it has a little extra hardware, they've had some pieces that have a little extra detailing throughout. So those kind of factors will affect the price and obviously bump it up. But this particular one is 425 US dollars currently in 2019. So as far as the details go, it features one credit card slot right here, two credit card slots back here, and one open compartment right here, where you could either put more cards if you'd like or some bills. Um, I wouldn't do coins, I would imagine them to fall out pretty easily. So I would say cards or bills in the top right here. You can see the lovely CC logo right here in the front, absolutely beautiful. On the inside here, when you open it up, you can see it says Chanel right in there. And then on the other side, it'll tell you where it was made, this one, made in Spain, right in there. And then the authenticity uh, serial number is typically found on the front inside right in there. They offer this card case in a luxurious lambskin leather as well as a caviar leather, making it a bit more durable and kind of carefree, stress-free compared to the lambskin leather. This particular card case right here is crumpled calfskin, which in my opinion is the best of both worlds in the sense that it has that smooth look of lambskin, but then it also has the durability of caviar. In my opinion, the 17S So Black collection from Chanel is by far the best collection they have ever had for me. It just kind of checks off all the boxes. I absolutely love, 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 love this release. So just FYI that there are a number of options out there, both as far as the types of leather you used, as well as different textures. This particular one, as you can tell, is the quilted leather. They also make it in a chevron leather, or I have even seen them in solid, you know, no kind of quilting or chevron design to them at all, just a solid plain leather. Um, there's been a bit of variety as far as the uh, look of the card cases are concerned. This particular card case is made from one piece of leather, at least on the outside, as you can see here, all the way around. You see there's no stitching here, there's stitching on the sides here, but as far as the main body is concerned, it's one piece of leather versus other card cases from different brands that may have two pieces of leather that they brought together and then stitched not only on the sides right here, but down here as well. So that is a quick tour of this beautiful little small leather good. What I'm going to do now is just pack it up with credit cards, some bills, and give you an idea of how it looks when it's fully packed. All right, here is the flat card case loaded up. As you can see, I put one credit card here, two credit cards on the other side, as well as some bills in the top compartment right there. And I just stuck them in vertically as you see, just like that. But you can obviously also put them in horizontally and they will go in without any issue as well. You can see them right in there. And like I said, you can also use this compartment to add more cards. Off camera, I kind of tested the limits of this top compartment here. And I would say that three, yes, three cards is probably the max. At least that's what I would be comfortable with. So here are three credit cards in there. 
Personally, I use this with my So Black Jumbo. It fits really nicely into the back compartment uh, slip pocket inside the jumbo. So I will put all my essential cards, my ID, a couple credit cards here, and just some bills. And then I slip it back there. And then I'm still left with the entire compartment of the jumbo to put in any other items that I may need, sunglasses, or you know, if I need to put my keys in there, just items like that. So for me, this is a great way to kind of really, really shrink down my wallet throw it in that back compartment in the jumbo and take up virtually no space in that bag. That is the quick review of the Chanel flat card case. I hope that if you were considering this item and were a bit unsure or just wanted to see some more information about it out there that this video served that purpose for you. And if it did, I would really, really appreciate that thumbs up and also hitting that red subscribe button down below, dinging the bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video because I would definitely like to have you back at my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.